Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel, and I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be a Bible review, because I have so many Bibles that I want to share with you guys and how I use them. So I figured this would be the best way to do that, and this first one is going to be on the first Bible that I actually got as an adult. Um, I got this Bible about two years ago, and my mom bought it for me. I picked out the Bible, but she paid for it for me. And um, this is actually the first Bible that I used and really like went into depth and put effort and work into my relationship with Christ and God. Um, and I love this Bible. This Bible is amazing. And it is the Women's Study Bible from Thomas Nelson and the KJV translation. And this is what it looks like. This is a 2012 edition, if I'm not mistaken, and the design is the pink cafe ole. You have this pink kind of cloth material, and then your nice brown imitation leather, which I love. It is really simple, cute, um, girly without being over the top, and simple without being too manly, if that makes sense, because that's what I was kind of going for with my Bible. And, um, yeah, I really like this. Now, this um, style is no longer available. It is only available in the hardcover the purple and cream as well as the turquoise and you can get it with the thumb index or without the thumb index I got mine without the thumb index but um yeah I my, my mom rather she paid $49.99 for this but um I'll leave a link down below to where you can check it out on christianbook.com because that's where she paid it that's where she got it from I'm sorry that's where she got it from but um I'll also find a link for it on Amazon as well but yeah, this is the Bible. I love it. It is not red letter text, which I found after getting this Bible that I prefer a Bible with red letter text. Um, just because I feel like it is, I don't know, I feel like I get more meaning out of it when the words of Jesus Christ are written in red in the Bible. Don't pay me no mind, but that's just my thoughts. Um, and it, like I said, it is a study Bible, so there are commentaries. At the, there is commentary at the bottom. There's a concordance, and um, you have little articles throughout the Bible. Um, here is the box that it comes in. The font on this is 9 point font. Um, the Bible is actually edited by, let me find their names, so, um, Dorothy Kelly Patterson and Rhonda Harrington Kelly are the editors of this Bible, and then you have a lot of different things. Um, you have inspiring articles from people like Anne Graham Lott, Stormy Ormonton, Linda Dillo, um, Kimberly Daniel. You have a um, hundred women character portraits. You get insights into scripture with verse by verse study notes. Um, you have 300 article topics for women. 300 articles um, on topics for women. You have insightful quotes, which I really like the quotes throughout the Bible. And then you have your topical index of scriptures and stuff like that. So there's a lot of great things within this Bible that I love. Um, this was actually the first Bible that I used to do my studying in. And you guys will see when I flip through um, that I read Genesis, Exodus, and Leviticus in this Bible. Um, I also studied, like fully, full on studied John and um, Romans in this Bible. And then after I studied Romans, that's when I got my New King James Journal of the Word Bible and did all of my studying in there. So you guys will see how I used to use this Bible. Um, this is also the Bible that I take to church with me every Sunday. So I keep this Bible in my Bible bag, which I will do a kind of Bible bag tour, if that makes sense, to show you guys how I pack it, what I put in it, what I take to church with me. But, um, yeah, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys the inside of my Bible, tell you guys my thoughts, and show you how I use it. Okay, guys, so here is what the Bible looks like when it's in the box. You get the Women's Study Bible, Enriching Your Heart, Mind, and Spirit with God's Word. You get a little window here to see the design that you have. This, like I said, is the King James Version Signature Series. If I'm not mistaken, it also comes in the New King James Translation as well as, I think, the NIV, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and when you flip the box over, you just get some details about the different things and features and the font and all of that great stuff. Um, I keep the box just, you know, in case I need to put my Bible away. I don't want it to get damaged, so, yeah. So taking it out of its beautiful box, because it's amazing. We end up with this beauty here, and I, like I said, I love this Bible. This was the first one that I've gotten um, that my mom purchased for me, 
and I picked it out myself, so it's really um, special to me. So here is what it is. You have your cloth cover with your imitation leather on the side. It's also a side view. And the back with the ISBN. So opening up the Bible. Um, okay, so up here I just have my personal Bible color code system that I use in this Bible. Oops, sorry. And then I have a photo of my little guy. This was actually his uh, pre-K photo that he took. Um, this actually goes to one of the mothers at the church. Um, I haven't seen her in a while, so I just have it in here like that. And I'm going to remove these uh, paper clips <laughs> quickly. But um, you open up the Bible and you get your cover page and it has my name of course and it says from my mom but I got it March 4th 2016 the women's study Bible then you get the marriage contract and the information about it I haven't filled that out and you guys can see I had to tape this up because pages were falling out with you guys seriously and then you get this section here which is kind of like your family history so you have your history, the kids' history, and things like that, um, and other things of that matter. Then you have this section here, which says my spiritual mothers. So um, my first lady of my church, the first lady of a church, uh, another church that used to go to our church, if that makes sense, and then the mother of my church. And then you go to like the kind of title page, um, the Women's Study Bible, King James Version, Editorial Committee. Like I said, Dorothy Kelly Patterson is the general editor. And then Rhonda Harrington Kelly is a managing editor. You get your forward, which I read, which is by Ann Graham Lotz. A list of the Women's Study Bible contributors here. And then your contents, which I love. And I'm just going to um, paperclip all this back just because, yeah. As you guys can see, my papers are all over the place. So we're just going to paper clip this back together and before I even got my tabs which I'll show you guys where I get my tabs from I use washi tape just to mark off certain things but um yeah you have your contents Old Testament New Testament and concordance and all that great stuff so here you get an introduction which I've read and you can see I've gone through it then you get God cares for women a little article which I've also read through and then you also get this article, which is The Balanced Life, Reconciling Personal Faith with Practicing Dogma. I thought that was a good article. And you go straight into the Old Testament. So like I said, um, I used washi tape before I ended up with my tabs. And my tabs are stunning, you guys. Stunning. You guys can see, like, they're really pretty pink and purple with a little glitter. And my tabs come from majestic bible tabs this is the pink princess set i have used all of these tab all of their tabs in my bibles so um but what i like about this is that these actually come with the 66 bible memory verse stickers which i haven't used yet i don't think i will but um i thought that was cute these are really cute if you have like a little girl you know so you have the old testament and how it's set up is that you get this kind of breakdown. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys a bit. Okay. Hopefully that's zoomed in quite enough for you guys. But um, what it looks like is you get the name of the book as well as what it is. So this is the first book of Moses called Genesis. And we know that the first five books of the Bible are considered the law books. Um, so then you get your title, information about the title, if there is any meaning behind the name or anything like that. Then you have a section for the author, a section for the timing of when it was written. Then you get some background information such as setting, the purpose of the book, the audience the book was written to, literary characteristics, and then you go into your themes of this book that you're going to read and then they give you a complete outline of the book yeah. 
So how it set up after you get past the introductory introductory information is that you get your scriptures of course but then at the bottom you get your commentary and you don't get commentary for every single verse but for majority of the verses about 85 percent of the verses you get commentary and what i like about the commentary in this bible as well as my other bibles is that um the commentary is more so factual information, definitions, um, history, rather than their own personal opinions, which I adore. And with the commentary, I don't read the commentary until I think about what the scripture means for myself. So I will read, I will read through the verse, of course, I'll read through the scripture, then I'll do my highlighting, underlining, and all that stuff, break things down, define things, and then once I'm done, I will read the commentary that corresponds with what I just read, and see if my thoughts align, see if there's anything that I, you know, maybe have missed, but I do see as I read, or if I don't agree with them at all. So, you know, but that's just how it's set up. So here is Genesis, and like I said, I read Genesis through Leviticus. Um, you guys can see. I read, like I said, I I definitely did read through it, um, but I I didn't fully completely understand it. But um, I love the articles. I think every other page or every page has like a little article. You get some quotes at the top. Some pages you get little charts or diagrams or pictures, which I like. So this is just going through Genesis, you know, like I said, I read Genesis, I enjoyed it. And I didn't study Genesis, keep in mind, I read it, but I'm just going to quickly flip through so you guys can see. Moving on to Exodus. Let me just zoom out for you. So Exodus, of course, same kind of deal where I read through the main information. And again, with Exodus, I didn't get a lot out of this uh, at all. Like, not at all. Some of the charts I do have little post-it notes on because I think these are things that I want to journal. So, um... You know, this is the Ten Commandments throughout Scripture. So, there we go. So, now I'm just going to skip ahead um, to the New Testament. Actually, I'm going to skip ahead to Malachi. Because after Malachi, there are charts of like the, the flowers and stuff, which I like. So here you have flowers and plants of the Bible, which I think is a great thing that they did. Because they tell you the description, the use, the biblical term of it, and then what they are. And like, I guess they're like, real scientific names. You get your vegetables of the Bible, your bitter herbs of the Bible, your regular herbs of the Bible. I, I just, I love the breakdown of them giving you what the herbs and flowers and vegetables are and how they're used so then you go to the new testament of our lord and savior jesus christ washi tape like i said because before i got the tabs i used washi tape and i'm gonna jump straight to john because like i said in the intro this was the bible that i really started to dive into my bible studies and i really used this to um study the book of john, the gospel of john and um the book of romans so the gospel according to john you guys can see i went in and underlined as much information as i could and when i say i was taking notes you guys i was writing in the margins highlighting stick sticky notes like my notes were insane i even had some notes written on loose leaf paper so you know i was reading through the articles because the articles really were like amazing you guys when i say i was going in oh my god like john was this is why i love john because john left me with so many amazing things like, I literally have sticky notes all throughout John. Notes on the side. Just. You guys know I'm just saying John gave me a lot to think about. 
and I underlined and read the words of Christ. So that's why red is, a, there's a lot of red in this. Because I underlined the key things from Christ that he said. I like this one on mental health, a sound mind. I really did like that article. Women and their families in the New Testament. It's a chart I need to continue to look at. Women in Jesus. And this goes through Mary, the mother of Jesus, Anna, the Samaritan woman, um, the woman of adultery, Mary Magdalene, Mary Bethany, Martha of Bethany. Um, and other women. Like, it's amazing, you guys. Got notes in the margins, like, phenomenal. And then flipping to Romans. Not as intense in here because I did a lot of my notes on paper, but still a good amount of notes written in here a lot of cross-referencing too because i was using my mother's um what was the bible the cross-reference thompson chain ref thompson chain reference bible i was using her bible to do the cross-references so that's why i have so many different cross-references written down This, uh, the things that I highlight in yellow are things that I thought, st like, really stuck out to me, so. That's pretty much it. Um, I have studied other things in here, like Ruth and whatnot, but I really used my journaling Bible for that. Um, so now we're going to go... All the way back here, this is Revelations, Revelation, rather, and then we're going to back to the appendix. Um, so you have your appendix, which gives you your weights, measures, and stuff like that. So you have your money and measurements in the Bible. So your monetary union is weights and measures of length, which I think is essential because sometimes I read the Bible and I'm like, what are they talking about? And then I have to look it up either in a concordance, a Bible dictionary, encyclopedia, or something like that. Your liquid measures and your dry measures. You have what they left behind. Women, archaeology, and the Bible. I haven't really fully read that. I glanced at it, but I didn't read it. Women and children in biblical narrative. Another article I still need to read. You have your acknowledgments. And then at the back you have your index and reference guide to the different special features. So basically with this, um, this is a complete index, topical index, where you can look up things by like name. So say um, if I wanted Anna. Okay. So Anna is here. And all the women of the Bible have this like brown color. If you guys can see Artemis, I don't even know who this is, but you know, the women... Or like anything pertaining to women is in brown. But Anna here, you see P and then the page number. So this P, you go over here. P stands for portraits. If you see an A, that means article. If you see an N, it means annotation. If you see a C, that means charts. M is for map. And then T is for topical notes. So that means Anna has a portrait. She has some annotation notes. And she also is included in a chart, or rather two charts here. So that's what I like about this. And I mean, the index is pretty large. And then you have your concordance, which you get 68 pages. Yeah, 68 pages of concordance. And then you go into your maps, which are in full color, um, which I love. I just love the vibrancy of these maps. So that is it. So as I said, um, this Bible is everything.
everything to me. I really love this Bible. And this was the first Bible that I used to do any of my Bible studying with. Um, I didn't always have the Bible journal, or the journaling Bible, rather. Um, and I will do a video on how to study or do journaling with your Bible without a journaling Bible, if that makes sense. Because a lot of people do ask me if they need a um, journaling Bible to journal the Word or study the word and I don't think you do you can use regular paper and a regular Bible like I did when I first started and um, yeah I definitely recommend this Bible again they don't have it in this color it does come in a purple cream and a turquoise color I do want to get the turquoise one in the New King James translation just because I want to <laughs> but um yeah this Bible is amazing I love it and again the Bible tabs that I have are these gorgeous pretty pink ones and they are the Pink Princess Majestic Bible Tabs. And I have used about six of their Bible Tabs in different colors in my Bibles. Um, so yeah. That is it for this video, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. And um, stay tuned for more videos. Bye.